How do you say I love you? Do we do? Written by Leslie Stop. Click clack waddle waddle dot dot do we do from Planet 872.9 was starting to love life on Earth, except he could not pronounce the word love, his mother said sweetly. Wub, he repeated, trying his hardest. Love, she said slowly. Wub, he said. Wub, wub, wub. I hargle the English language. I know it's hard, Dewey, his mother said, but it's not right to hargle, not in any language. Easy for her to say. She didn't have to go to school with Brutus or Elias of the second grade. Hurgle gluck, Dewey said as he climbed into bed. Don't worry, you'll get it. She shoo shoo tanawatu, she said, and it sounded like honey and bird swings and safety and singing. He loved her too. But the next day there was Brutus or Elias. Hey, booba boy, how do you say Dumbo and Alien? Dewey's ertle tightened. His eyeballs squeezed. Blue black smoke rose dangerously from his hork. Just as he was about to go orbital. His friends Melissa and JJ came up beside him. Dewey took a deep breath, <sighs> counted to Flork, and decided not to blow. His language is called ADN, not alien, Melissa said. Yeah, JJ added. So Shrishklit Udius, which, by the way, means be quiet, you big bully, in ADN. Fortunately, Brutus Aurelius did not know that. Back in Miss Breton's first grade class, things were ute until... Dewey, will you please read this word? Mrs. Breton asked. Wub, Dewey said under his breath. A few classmates started to laugh. Ooh, 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 Melissa said, raising her hand. The word is love, and Dewey is tired of being teased. Yeah, JJ added. Dewey blushed bright green. His shoulders slumped. His heart went glunk. He wished he could disappear. Airwell, Earthings, I am Uta Ear. But that night, he had an even better idea. Early the next morning, Dewey went straight to Mrs. Brighton's class so he could ask her a question without anyone else around. Happy Valentine's Day, class, Mrs. Brighton said. Dewey has something wonderful to share with us. With help from his friends, Dewey unrolled a big paper roll. On it, in amazing curly Q letters, were the words I love you in ADN with the English underneath. Dewey, Mrs. Burton asked, will you please tell the class how I love you is said on planet 872.9? She shu shu tana watu, he said, and it sounded like honey and bird swings and courage and singing. She shu shu tana watu, he repeated. It sounded like wanting and flowers and kindness and hoping. It sounded so funny, wonderful that the whole class wanted to try it. It was hard at first. She tu tu ba ba waba. She shu shu tu ba wuba. 
but soon the air was filled with a sound like honey and birds' swings and sweetness and singing. By the end of the day, everyone in the whole school was saying it, even Brutus Aurelius, me, boo, boo, wa, wa, ba, ba, e, oo, ba, ba, a, chu. It didn't sound quite like honey or bird swings or singing or anything. But nobody minded, because as their voices blended together, it was impossible not to wonder if maybe, just maybe, even Brutus Aurelius of the second grade might someday live on a planet where the air is filled with a sound like honey and bird swings and courage and caring and no one ever, ever gets teased. She shu shu tanawa tu planets. She shu shu tanawa tu stars. She shu shu tanawa tu you. Whoever, wherever, whatever you are, I love you. Okay, friends, that's the end of our story. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.